because I feel like, especially within like the comedy podcast scene in general, I think I mentioned it beforehand about a clip concerning um Stevie Weeby and, and Eric Griffin a long time ago when Eric Griffin used to look like the Mr. Potato Man or Mr. Potato Head. Remember when you used to have that that crazy mustache and those glasses? Now he kind of looks a little bit handsome with the you know with the five o'clock shadow and shit. Um, I'm pretty sure that was his girlfriend or his his now wife decision to do that because that look he had before with just a big flat, so big fat thick black moustache um, that was clearly dyed and those glasses just made him look like a fucking comedy character. But anyway, we continue. In that podcast, they were talking about Reddit and how Reddit is bad and how they don't check Reddit, they don't read comments. And in in overall, in general, most comedians, whenever you hear them talk on podcasts, they always talk about social media and places like Reddit and stuff where people give their opinions and lend their, you know, and just share their views on each comic. They always give those things a bad rep and make it seem as if everyone on there is just there to trash them. There are, there are no real fans on there. There are no fanatics. There are no fanboys. There are no people just, just gone in there blind and just said, you know what, let me go check this person out and leave a review. There are none of them. Or everyone that's on that forum or on those spaces is on there for the sole purpose of just making sure that they kind of break the comedian spirit if they read those comments and they make sure to say the most meanest thing possible in order to make those guys cry or whatnot. And I don't think that's true. I've been spending a lot of time on Reddit. I've been on Reddit for many many years uh, under many different usernames i've been on forums for many many years also and i know there does exist a very toxic part of the internet but i know there's also um people in pockets of the internet that exist that are also quite positive but i've always been of the thinking my opinion has always been of the thinking that most communities online reflect the content creator so if you've got a very toxic personality most likely they're their kind of community that surrounds them, that kind of posts clips about them, that, you know, keeps up to date with their content is usually going to be quite toxic too. I think of an example just popped into my head now. I'm pretty sure if you went on Mr. Beast's subreddit, Mr. Beast, right, the, the, the amazing YouTuber, I'm pretty sure most of his content on that subreddit would be quite positive. I'm sure if you went on, um, Someone like a H3, Ethan Klein, right? I'm sure if you're on his podcast, subreddit, I'm sure most of the comments on there would be quite divisive, quite toxic, it'd be quite 50-50 because, of course, Ethan Klein is a very Marmite-type character, right? People either love him or hate him, but he does wind people up a lot with how he goes on and how he acts, blah, blah, blah. And I think the same could be said for comedians. And obviously, the same could be said for the likes of, you know, The Fire and the Kid, Brendan Shaw, Brian Callen. Clearly, they've created, I think, a very toxic... Um, subreddit because of how they act but there also does exist communities online especially in the comedy community that are very um, that just have good vibes in general and they reflect the show and I think one good example of that is your mum's house podcast your mum's house podcast might have one of the best subreddits out of all the a kind of LA LA comedy podcast kind of extended universe type people. And I think this clip is a good example of it. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but it's essentially in, on your mom's house podcast, which is hosted by Christina P and Tom Segura. They have a running joke that Garth Crooks is basically a, um, a serial killer because of how weird he is and about how on the spectrum he is, about how he talks, about how he carries himself. It's just a running bit to have on a, on a podcast. It's quite funny. So I guess Garth Crooks is obviously one of the biggest fucking musicians in the world. He sells out literal arenas, as you can see there. That's a literal arena. And um, at this arena show that he had that's completely sold out, somebody somehow from the Your Mum's House podcast must have been in that audience and they did an expertly timed, expertly timed troll that was obviously a little hat tilt to the Your Mum's House podcast community on Reddit. And I think this goes to show that there are positive aspects of Reddit, especially in the comedy comedy community, and it's not all bad. Look at this clip. Did you guys see that? I'm going to zoom in just in case you guys didn't see that. Did you see that? As they're singing a song, the camera pans over to the people in the crowd as they're holding up signs. And it happens to pan over to a guy who's part of the Your Mom's House community because he had a sign up that says, look, 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 look. We love golf, right? And that's exactly what they say on the podcast. And in the next card, as the camera is still on it, where are the bodies, G? <laughs> and you know why it's G? Because I think he Garth Crooks refers to his studio as Studio G, and he just refers, you know, you know that Garth Crooks is Garth Brooks, sorry, 
is the kind of person who I think um, is the kind of person who'd give himself his own nickname. You know, that kind of person. So obviously he's giving himself his own nickname in G and they kind of had that sign up there um, as the camera kind of pans. And obviously the camera quickly pans away because, you know, they kind of get it. But it's fucking amazing. But that's a clear example, I think, in my opinion, that there are positive aspects of the communities that exist online and it's not all bad. So these comedy co co comedians keep letting you know that, oh, it's all bad, it's all toxic, none of my real fans are on there, they're just trolls, they're trying to get a rise out of you. It's not true. For the most part, if you are part of a toxic podcast community, it most likely has to do with the host. From what I've seen, the hosts are the ones that dictate how toxic a community is, in my humble opinion. But of course, if you say that kind of thing, what that does is that puts the responsibility back on the content creator and back on the comedian. If there's one thing that we know about these fucking comedians, they hate taking responsibility. They absolutely hate taking responsibility. So that's never going to absolutely happen. So I understand that. I understand that. But anyway, let me take a little slurp and make sure the mic is muted before I do take the slurp. Okay, we're getting we're getting fucking unique lit today, mate. We're getting unique lit, unique lit, unique lit. Okay, let's go, <laughs> let's go. Um, what we were saying here, um, that's a great way to put it. Um, people are saying in the chat here. Also, Christina has completely lost her mind. You see how she's been dressing up now. No, I don't mind it, mate. Honestly, I don't mind it. I have to be honest. I don't mind their podcasts. I don't mind how silly they get with the outfits. Um, I don't mind. Um, I actually like. You know what I actually like about it. You know what I like about it? I like this. I like the fact that it's a couple in the comedy community who actually like each other's community, who actually like each other's company, do a podcast together, and it's actually funny. Don't get me wrong, Christina P stand up, you know, I could go to sleep on it. Tom Segura, I like his stand-up, I think he's pretty funny. But in terms of their funny their ability to make you laugh on the podcast, I think it's really high. And the fact that they're actually two adult comedians that are clearly in love, doing a podcast together, making a boatload of cash and looking after their family that way. I I I don't really see any problem with it. And the fact that they don't take themselves too seriously on the podcast and might don't don't care about having silly ads having silly adults having silly outfits maybe i'm getting already a bit twisted already having silly outfits and also they have the flipping them um, fart mic and shit so I, I like all that stuff man i actually don't mind it i really don't mind it 